All right, so this little episode is going to be about adjusting the valves. On uh, older Land Cruisers like this, there are um, mechanical adjustments to valve lash, which are these screws with the right here. And uh, the way it works is you loosen the lock nut right here, and then um, get uh, the valve to where it there's it, where it's all the way up and it's a little bit loose like that one you can hear it and then measure its clearance between between the uh, top of the valve which is inside this spring and the valve lifter valve rock and the rocker arm which is right there and so what I got to do is bump the engine around a little bit and then measure the clearance and do this for all 12 valves. The uh, intake valves are, uh, you can read that, it's probably hard to read, eight thousandths. And the exhaust valve is 14 thousandths. And uh, it's easy to get them mixed up because the they're alternating. You can see the intake runner here and an exhaust runner right there. And so the, the valves are in pairs, and so to keep myself from getting mixed up, I've marked the tops of the rocker arms with a little piece of white chalk so that I can be sure I get the right right gap everywhere. It's going to be a little hard for me to do this one-handed holding the camera, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and uh, do the adjustments, and then I'll turn the camera back on and let you know how it goes, or how it went. So I figured out a way to get the camera close enough so you can actually see this. So I'll go ahead and do a couple of these valves now so you can see them. This is the number four cylinder. And this one's the exhaust valve over here. This one's the intake valve over here. I want to measure the clearances. They're both, the valves are closed and the rock arms are just a little bit loose. So I can measure the clearances. And uh, again, intake, exhaust. Intake should be 0 0.008, and that's too loose. So I'll have to tighten that up by making the rocker arm longer. You don't want the rocker arms to be, the clearance to be too low because when the engine gets really hot, it could not close the valve all the way, which would not be good. Here, yeah, that's about right. Let's check this one. This one's too tight. This is the exhaust valve. It needs to be shorter. Give that a go. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm kind of wondering if those were backwards. That might explain why the why the compression was low on number four. We're going to find out in a minute here. So I'm not going to film it all, but that's what the rest of the valves are going to go like. Okay, I finished the valves and I'm in the middle of the compression test. And I thought I would show you the number four cylinder again, because if you go back to, I think maybe the second video, when we first got this car and we and I just started working on it, uh, one of the first things I did was a compression test and everything came back good except the number four cylinder here which was quite low and um, it occurred to me that well maybe the valves were adjusted wrong so I should do that first before I took the head off and um, so let me show you how that turned out.
it's much better than it was. Last time it was well under 100 pounds. This time I got just over 120, maybe 121, 122 pounds, something like that. And um, I looked that up in the specs. Got to remember we're at 6,000 feet here roughly, so I got to adjust it for that. And that number is acceptable. It's um, in the range. Uh, the highest I got on the compressions here was uh, 130 something. And the lowest is this one here at 120 something. They say the maximum difference is 13 PSI before you need to be worried from low to high, so we're good there, and the low number is above the minimums, so, and the high numbers were all pretty close to new, so I actually think I'm going to leave the head on because it's not bad. So a little bit of good news there.